can join us. Um, so I love this film so much, and I think it's so epic in its scope. You know, how was kind of shooting and finding the locations for it, and just where did the idea kind of come from for you? Um, that's two very different questions. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start with Scully, because I think it's very good. Um, <laughs> so the film was written um, with Brittany in mind, uh, a former girlfriend of mine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm a funny person, you can tell that like, <laughs> crack jokes all the time. Don't worry. Uh, <laughs> for this particular <laughs> place in Brittany, because uh, I wanted those cliffs, I wanted those beautiful beaches, and it's basically a, um, a coast that is untouched, you know, that is preserved. Um, and so you would definitely believe if there is any blast, you know, you don't have to erase anything. Um, in post production, uh, except surfers, <laughs> who are really like, like all people who believe that they are free, I really don't give a fuck about other people's freedom. <laughs> <laughs> I hate surfers now. <laughs> um, that was a budget. Um, and the castle uh, is actually in the, in the Parisian Bordeaux, very, very, like uh, 50 kilometers from Paris. And it was the most difficult thing to find the castle because you visit basically a lot of castles. France has a lot of castles um, <laughs> where people get married, uh, and so it's like ah, you have this kind of fake thing, and it's been painted and repainted. And like for instance, it's always the, like the wood, the wood, the wood wall are always, are always bicolor, and they're always like. And we found that castle that was like physically crawling, uh, and that was untouched for centuries. So the wood of the wall is like the natural wood of the 18th century, and the color was there, and we didn't touch that color. So it's actually, and it didn't, it, it's not like it belonged to the film already, and like it was kind of the color that was mirroring my previous choices in the, around color on, in my previous film. So that was kind of, um, that was a meeting with a place that was vibing with past, and I like to, to construct my sets, you know, even if it's the, the, the the bedrooms of teenage girls uh, <laughs> in contemporary uh, Paris. I, I, I like it to, to build it, to choose every color. But this, this time, and it's the period piece, so it should be the Constitution. We, we did very, very, we did nothing, basically. The place was like waiting for us. Wow, that's amazing, especially because, you know, I think in terms of like working with uh, your cinematographer, like just like, it's just so epic looking. You know, what was like building that relationship with uh, her? Um, well, I've been wanting to work with her for a long time. I've been always very careful about her, her work. Um, and um, we, well, we met on that script. And, um, and basically, we worked a lot. <laughs> Um, and, and I think also that strong decision to give a lot of time and also money, which is kind of the same in cinema, um, for her to craft this lighting. Um, that famous castle, that, that castle that was perfect, was the first floor and it was very old, so you couldn't hang any lighting in there. So the rooms, the, what, the lightings, they, they, all the, the, the projectors, yeah, yeah. lamps and everything, they weren't in the room, they were outside. We built this very big scale, um, and all the lighting were outside, and, 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 the, and it took, like, for each scene, we would, we would take two to three hours sometimes to set the lighting, it would drive me crazy, but I'm a smoker, so anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but it means that it's time you're not, you, you have less time with your actor, so it's like, you know, when I'm asked, how can you make it beautiful? Well, it's it's the time you're going to put into directing this. Um, we talked a lot about paintings. Obviously, we went to the museum, um, <laughs> but mostly to, to decide how we were going to shoot painting as a work, yeah. uh, as a moment of work, um, and um, yeah. Yeah. Well, I and to make short answers so that people will have anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, what was uh, making and working? Sorry, doing the making sure that Noemi and Adele had chemistry because obviously this is a movie that's just a lot of longing lesbian looks, which is ideal, personally speaking. But um, it's is is also you know that's just chemistry. You can't just fake you know to a, that that degree. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 
<laughs> I mean, it's cinema, so it's not that you can't, it's that you should. You should. Um, you know, the, 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 the argument of the fact that you know, chemistry should happen on a set, that mm -hmm. you should fall in love with whoever you're looking at, this, this has been causing a lot of trouble. <laughs> this, this was propaganda for rape, basically. Um, so, no, it's a job, and they're very good at this job. <laughs> and it's not about their, and of course it's about their working relationship, um, and the fact that they would also not, very know, not, not know each other very well. Uh, and we kept it that way, we didn't rehearse. So they were always kind of surprised as how thing, things would go, like how was it gonna send it, oh, they, they always said like it's, it was like, you know, said like Heather was like handing her little balls that she, they were, uh, she, they were catching and she would never know what she was, you know, she would throw the balls. Um, so there was kind of that tension. Um, and also it's mostly ideas and being very accurate about those ideas. It means, for instance, how you would breathe. Like for instance, how do you show somebody as desire for somebody for the first time? So we are looking at Noemi Nerland's face and she, she paints and I let her do a little choreography of looks and at some point I'm like, now. And she just pulls it and she gives this and I'm like, open your mouth. And she puts it in her mouth. And that's how you create a choreography of, of chemistry and desire, it's been very accurate, and they are very good actors, so they are very much in control of their, also their, 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 their faces and as, as their muscles, you know, it's their athlete, um, and they were, and they're really good athletes, so, and they, I think they, they care a lot about the film, it's about the film that they care so about each other always, I think. Well, they both have very good They like each other very much. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I have to ask, I think one of the most, be I mean, the film is so beautiful, but one of the most beautiful shots is, I think, the one with the mirror when she's drawing herself. What was, like, kind of the inspiration for that? Well, I was thinking about this American photographer who actually committed suicide at 26 because she didn't get into a art show, whose name is... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I can't forget the name. <coughs> If somebody has it, Angelica, she was a New Yorker. Angelica Woodman, Angelica Woodman. Francesca? Francesca Woodman. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> she did a lot of this thing with mirrors and shadows and I was very moved by her work and also, you know, the film talks about women artists and in the 18th century, but globally, just like the destiny and the journey of women artists. And I felt like she, she had done things with mirror and I read her work and I thought, I want to do something with a mirror. She had specifically done this. I was playful with the idea of, you know, we keep playing with this cycle of, of this round between the model and the artist and who's posing and who's in charge and who's looking at who. And I guess I just, we just push, push the limits and what if the mirror was there and that you would, and, and so it's also about, yeah, harvesting the situation, being generous about it, also thinking it's, it's going to be also fun. I think it's, it's an image that's disturbing and, and fun and, and yeah. Um, uh, I read an interview with you recently about people, or like maybe critics specifically, calling it a queer story when it's very obviously a lesbian story. Yeah, I was wondering if you would talk about that a little bit. Well, in France, it's not even queer. It's like the restaurant of Montreux de Femme, <laughs> which sounds really sexy when I say it. <laughs> 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 That's French, it sounds like that, but um, <laughs> it is like a love story between two women, so it's not even qualified. I mean, and it's not about qualifying their love story, it's for, I think it's also about qualifying the politics, the aesthetics and the politics of the film. Um, so I guess here, lesbian is much more popular as a word than in France, so I found it already, but it's just, no, yeah, just, yeah it seems to be a word that is, Kind of scary, and I think because I mean the program is, is scary. It's it's a threat to the system, and yet that's why we are so often despised. That's why we are so often killed in films or you know, treated as some sort of, you know, being like a crazy person, um, craving for possession, and you know the film that shows that we're not craving for possession. We are craving for a lot of things, but. Uh, so, I, yeah, I think that's why there's a threat around the world, but, you know, there's a larger degree of threat than a fashion. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think we have some
some time to take a couple of questions from the audience. Uh, hi, um, I really love this film. This is the second time I've watched it, and it's been a big inspiration creatively for me. And something I think about a lot is the dialogue and the writing. So I wanted to ask you uh, how do you approach your writing, and when you know you've written something good, something worth working on. Well, on this film particularly, I mean, I've been evolving from film to film. And this one, it took me five years to craft it. I'm not going to write it, but really think about it, you know? Uh, mostly because I was trying to find a new, a new way to write for myself, um, knowing that I would be directing the film, and I hope that's what it's going to be. Okay. Um, and I did, there was two levels of new reflection. The first one was, because I'm more constructive than before, you know? The first level was like trying to leap out of the uh, narrative of conflict, uh, the fact that it seems is a good bargain, uh, and to not rely on that kind of tension. Um, and the second layer was most also concerning the fact that I would direct this, and it's about trying to have, and you know, you can get lost in the process because you know, cinema is really heavy with a lot of people. You don't know where the one you have a bunch like you know you. So you have to build very strongly you know, what you do. So because this costs a lot of money, so there's a lot of pressure, so there might be a lot of compromise you, you should do them, but you should know where to do them. And so really it's about filling the scenes with ideas you care about and with a lot of desire. And you have to be very clear about what these desires. There's no mystery for you in what you want in that image. And it can be several things. It can be the color of the wall, it's this special location that you think it might be really like that you like, but it can really be like it's what you want to do with each thing so that you don't get lost in the process. And if you can't manage to write the scene with a strong desire, as a, with a strong idea in it for yourself, get rid of it. Never do these things. No, don't create handle for yourself. Don't do that scene where oh, people won't understand if she's not taking the car. And that's why, like in films, like 69 sequences, it's still a long film, but 69 is not much. I mean, usually films like 120, and it's like I was really trying to don't make a scene about like she's opening the door and going to the kitchen. Like, what happens if? And and see what it produces. I mean, go through the steps you need to go for your story. Look at those steps. Try try to fill them. And you know, if after years or months or weeks of thinking, you can't manage to do that, it means like don't do it, don't do that scene. So I'm really thinking as with the architecture of desire, and especially for this one, it was a film about desire. And if you want to know more about this, there is a lecture called BAFTA, from BAFTA Guru, and it's all written down about how like you write, and it's kind of this, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> Hi, again. again. <laughs> um, uh, we were talking about the elements yesterday, and uh, that was a different, it was a little bit different question, but um, I, I, we've, it's, this, is, this film is hugely discussed online every day by me and a small group of people. And um, somebody was saying how, I, and I'm just wondering if it was intentional, how Marianne seems to be like, um, kind of more commanding of the elements. She's the one that's lighting the pipe all the time, and she's the one that's jumping in the water and, and all this stuff, whereas Eloise seems to just kind of like go with whatever. Like she doesn't do anything when she's on fire, and you know, she goes in the ocean and just goes with it or whatever. So I'm wondering if that was intentional or what, you know. Oh, I'm not saying it that way at all. Like Eloise is the one saying, you should look at your portion because you're gonna paint this, for instance. Uh, she's going to swim into that water willingly, whereas Ryan steps in because she has to save this little girl. Oh. She's going to make it anyhow. So, convention of action is like jumping in the water, and because, like, oh, there's a danger. So, she's maybe in a very conventional way, you would look at her as the active character. Um, but everybody's a buff. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's the question I get asked. Do you like to say you have to say one of a doctor? No, 
love that answer. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but it was an Eaton's secret ninja one. And then each other other questions. <laughs> no, there, there really wasn't. I just, I just wondered because some, so some girl that's actually really respectful and always has good ideas brought that up, and I thought that's a good question, actually. <laughs> um, well, I don't think we can take another question because literally that's the best answer we're gonna ever get. So thank you, everyone, for coming out tonight. Um, tell everyone. To come to the